So hey guys, I wanted to show you this unboxing of D Sore Hair. So this is their box that came in this pretty purple magenta colored box. Definitely an eye catcher. And one thing I wanted to point out is that I did get some mink lashes. Now usually the AliExpress lashes are very plastic, very cheap, don't look natural. But they actually sent me some decent quality lashes. And when I tried them on, they were actually very nice. So just want to shout out to that because you usually don't get that. So then I got the hair information, which is four bundles and a lace closure that are a free part. And this is what the hair looked like in the box. So you're also going to receive a card with all the hair information information on how to wash the hair and how to take care of it so it shows you with step-by-step -step pictures how to wash the hair and it also has a numbered detailing on what is going on at each step so if this is your first time or you're new to hair weaves you can definitely follow this card and it'll show you exactly how you want to care for your hair so then the hair care they also have how to take care of the hair when it comes to washing combing dyeing and styling so it also has some captions there on what to do when it comes to doing any of those four things and then last but not least it also shows you how to find them on their social media so getting right into the hair this is the lace closure the knots do not come bleached but I usually go in and bleach them myself it was a standard closure but it also was very thick it had a good density to the point where it didn't look like it was too thin but then I was still able to tweeze it and customize it and it looked very natural so here's what the wefts look like, double wefted per usual, and the wefts were actually very thick. Now, I always emphasize what the wefts look like only because it's going to help when you're sewing. So if you have single wefted wefts, like it's just not going to be the best when it comes to volume. But if you have double wefted wefts like this company sends, you'll see it. So on all of their bundles, you get a tag of their hair. So it shows you their company and their site. And I think this is a very good marketing effort to do because it keeps people knowing exactly where to get your hair from. So then you can also use their QR code. So this is what all the bundles look like together. It was just four bundles. They were really long. And I don't know, I like the way how they looked. They were really soft and silky when I ran my fingers through now one thing I did want to point out was how much hair that they gave me on these bundles so when it comes to AliExpress companies I like to measure out each bundle because they try to jip you when it comes to longer hair a lot of times you will not get that much hair on the bundles when the hair is longer now for what reason I don't know because to be honest they should be able to cut hair the same amount of hair that they cut for other lengths but that's just how AliExpress companies go so I wanted to show you guys that the hair actually was a lot on each bundle now I'm showing you the longest bundle which was 26 inches I believe and this is just the hair split in half so I'm about five foot ten and my wingspan is well over six feet this hair was a lot of hair on the bundles so if you look it's gonna go well beyond my wingspan to the point where I can't even get in the camera and show you guys how much hair is on these bundles so yeah definitely a lot of hair and that's something that I like to look at when I'm doing hair because if it's not enough and I have to patch up hair with other hair that I have then it's just not a good hair company and they're being very like stingy but D store hair definitely had a lot of hair so that's just the unboxing so stay tuned for my next video for the actual install and styling hi guys I'm back with another video so my last video I gave you guys the unboxing to D store hair so I just wanted to show you guys how I ended up deciding to style this hair so stay tuned if you want to see how I got these curls and what it looked like when I was done and the final product so I started off with the hair just and it's wig as you guys know I have so many videos where there is me making wigs styling wigs cutting wigs chopping wigs frying dyeing and laying to the sign of so much wigs so I didn't bother showing you guys how I made my wig but if you want to see how I make my wigs from start to finish in a detailed tutorial I have that video on my channel let me know and I will link it in the description box or I'll put it in the comment section down below the first thing I started off doing was layering the hair so I wanted to go for like the old Kim Kardashian look when she used to have like the middle part with the bangs the, with the layers so I was like you know what Chama let's just layer the hair so as you can see I'm kind of turning my hand to the side but this is just for me to 
make sure that the hair falls going on that direction. So as you're going to see, I'm not chopping the hair, but I'm simply layering it. So I'm taking the edge of the blade in between the scissors and I'm just doing that in a downwards motion. As you can see, I'm starting to get different levels of my hair. So the top of the hair is going to be a little bit shorter where my bangs are and the bottom is going to be a little bit thinner. So what this is going to do is just create a frame for the face so that your bangs are not too long. When your hair is not framed and it's just not layered, I don't know. I just don't like the look. You don't get as much volume. You don't get the more styling. You don't get styling. You know, you just don't get the full effect of your wig. And if you want your wig to look cute and natural and all of that stuff, it's best that you layer the hair so that it doesn't look like it's overpowering your face. So I decided to go ahead and do this all around the hair as well. So basically when it came to the top parts of the hair, I took my scissors again and I just used the bladed area that's like really sharp in between the legs or the arms of the scissors. And I just cut in a downwards motion. But I kind of did go a little bit overboard because I felt like at the end my hair did look a little bit thin but at least I got the volume at the top of my hair and at the bottom of the hair it was not necessarily thin but it was just a little bit smaller than the top part of my hair but I like top volume you know I want my hair to be voluminous up top I just don't want my hair to just look like one length one style it's gonna look lifeless you know like you want it to look like a full round full effect of hair so that's pretty much what I was doing and then I started on to the styling. So moving on to styling, I just wanted to point out that the first step in styling is always sectioning off your hair. When you work in smaller sections, it makes it easier for you to complete the style and also it adds to more volume when you do your style. So always work in sections, section off the hair and you're going to realize that your style is going to end up a lot better. So I'm going to be using a wand curler. This is actually a cheap wand curler that I got from like Dollar General, but it works perfectly fine. So no need to go buy some crazy heat tools. This works just as well as the more expensive ones. So when it comes to sectioning my sections, I always just pull maybe about an inch to an inch and a half of hair. Um, this is just so that there's not too much hair being on the barrel and you actually get your curl to form. If it's going to be too much hair, you're going to realize that if your wand is not big enough, then you're curl is just going to fall and it's just going to be a wasted effort. So make sure you always take a small section of hair when curling with a smaller wand curler and then your curl is actually going to form. And then when it comes to actually sectioning those sections in terms of how thick they are, I always section about one or two tracks going up the hair. So I have another tutorial on how to wand curl hair. So I'm just speeding past this section. But yeah, I just go ahead and curl and when I curl, I honestly get lazy after a while, but I make sure that my curls in the first back half of the hair are always pretty put together. That way I have volume in the back of the hair. So then the top of the hair can just cascade over the back. So as you can see here, the back of the hair is really curled. And then the front of the hair, we're just going to leave some of the top kind of flatter at the top. So I'm using my wand curler to just flatten out some pieces. As you can see, I don't necessarily get to the root of the top of the hair to make it really voluminous. We can just let that fall and cascade over our face. So this is what the hair looked like when it was all curled up and I just fixed some pieces that were flying away and like I said I got a little bit lazy so not all the curls are going to look uniform but we're going for like an effortless curl look so it's not really necessary. So again this is what the hair looked like as you can see the curls did kind of drop towards the bottom but I'm going to be finger combing the curls out anyway. So I just take my fingers and I run it through the hair. I don't rake it so you just slide it let it glide if your hair is being pulled that means your hair is not good. So make sure your hair is nice, soft, and silky and just run through it. So then the last step is actually adding the volume. Now I'm just a voluminous type of girl. I always talk about volume and how to make your hair big. So I just took like a little rat tail comb, I believe. And I went to like the top section of the hair and I just did some back combing. Back combing is basically combing in the opposite direction of the hair laying. So I'm just combing the opposite direction across the top part of the hair to add that volume where we didn't, you know, curl directly to the root and the curl started lower on the hair. So this is what the hair looked like when I was done. I was on vacation looking really cute. 
just effortless curls and I liked it when they even fell even more and that is pretty much it so don't forget to check out D store hair in the description box down below their hair is to die for honestly their closure and their hair has always been good and this is my third time working with them so definitely check them out if you guys are looking for some really good quality hair that might be a little bit more expensive but definitely worth your money so I will see you guys in my next video bye guys